Hey, I'm Magda and I prepare soldiers for the Stanek 6001 exam. So you have probably read the title and thought, what are the language functions? So let me explain. Let's take a look at some language functions that you are expected to demonstrate at the level two and three. So here are some examples of the tasks. First, the language functions, the ones that you can see on the screen right now. And some examples of the tasks that those language functions are reflected in. You're going to find them both in the speaking tasks, such as discussions, briefings, role plays, as well as in the writing tasks, in the informal letters, formal letters or reports. So grammar and vocabulary in isolation are not enough to succeed in the exam and in a lot of life situations as well. You need something that puts them both together, both in formal and informal situations. So this something are language functions. Let me show you how it works. Or better, let's take a look at it from using a metaphor of the human body. Let's think about the human body as if it was the language production. So our bones is grammar. Our muscles, vocabulary. Then language functions would be the workout. We need it in order to keep the bones active and the muscles grow. Without the workout, we are not able to maintain all of this together and keep producing the language. I hope this metaphor was clear and you got the, the idea. Now, you also need different strategies, whether you work out at home or outdoors around strangers. Okay, so this would be like the informal context, the home context of using the language or working out and the formal context when you're around strangers. So you have to adapt the strategies that you use to the context that you're in. Language functions are somewhere on the verge of grammar and vocabulary because they contain some elements from vocabulary, such as expressions and grammar, because we need, when we use them, we need to think about grammar structures. We need to think about indirect questions or direct questions, gerund or infinitive, which are considered the grammatical aspects. So I've decided to create a digital project that, in my opinion, has been missing on the market. And let's be honest, it's not that we have a particular abundance of the products and materials related to the Stanek 6001. If, you've, if you have been preparing for this exam for a while, you know very well what I'm talking about. So let's take a look at my ebook. Let's take a look what's inside of it so, you, so that you can have a clear idea of what is it about. All right, so my ebook covers all the language functions required in order to pass the level two and level three exam. It also contains extra content, such as strategies on what to say when you get stuck, you're asking for repetition, clarification, uh, information about using phrasal verbs in formal and informal contexts and hands-on patterns to follow, for example, in the descriptions. Let's take a look at one section, for example, making suggestions. So as you can see, there is a section. Uh, in this section, we've got the informal language section, then semi-formal neutral context, and the formal section. I also try to emphasize whether some of the expressions are useful for writing or for speaking. My goal was to create something that brings a lot of value and meets students' needs. We are often missing this aspect of the language. There are like separate resources that cover speaking, writing, uh, or grammar, vocabulary, but 
I figured it out throughout the years of working with soldiers that the language functions is something that will help you a lot to strategize for the exam. I have also decided to include the audio version of the ebook so that you can hear all of those expressions. So it saves you a lot of time because you don't actually have to go and check the pronunciation of those words. So this is a bonus that, that you will also get once you purchase the, the ebook. It is available on my website www.militaryenglishcourse.com Find me there and explore the website. It's full of free materials, free resources for you to use and check out my other YouTube videos for some free content in a form of webinars. I will see you soon.